Welcome to the See or Not to See, and today we're going to be talking about The Revenant, another movie where Leonardo DiCaprio is going on a quest across the United States of America and just eating like raw meats and everything and, and killing a bunch of people and just crawling his way to get to another Oscar nomination for an Oscar that he is probably not going to get again. Sorry. So, like I said, The Revenant stars Leonardo DiCaprio as a real-life fur trapper who was who is mauled by a grizzly bear and ends up being left for dead by his crew and he has to go like across country to like across I think it is in the Louisiana Purchase I think at first I thought it was Alaska but then I found out it's the Louisiana Purchase um, in the late 1800s I think or mid 1800s I don't know whichever time place it took place in the characters in this movie were really good the two big ones I'm going to talk about so because I don't want to give anything away um, is Leonardo DiCaprio who did a great job um, and also Tom Hardy, he did a really good job. This is the first movie I've seen him in where um, he wasn't playing in like some kind of science fiction movie, like a serious movie, because the only movies I've seen him in are The Dark Knight Rises and Star Trek Nemesis. Um, and he did a really great job in this movie. I love both of them. Everybody gave a really good performance in this movie. You know, the Native American actors were great in it, you know, and so were like all the, you know, they had, I think they had Native American actors, they had French actors, they had a lot of nationalities in this movie, which was cool to see um, everybody interacting with each other. And, you know, the cinematography was great. The way it was shot. I mean, just made, this movie just made you feel dirty and just uncomfortable, like that feeling where you're just outside and you got dirt all over you and everything, and like when you've been working hard outside for a long time, you know, it's got that feeling to it, but like this is like, this guy is brutal, and the whole movie is just brutal, bloody, it's just intense, and it just feels like, you know, you're in this movie with him, the way it's shot, it's like you're out in the wilderness with him, it makes you feel, and that is really one of the strong points of the series, and there's not a lot of dialogue in this movie, it's mostly just like, it's visual, it's very visual, and the emotions in the movie is what really carries it. I, the emotions, I think, are, like, the best part of the movies. Like, because, you know, the characters in this movie, the actors that they got to play everybody really are good at, like, pushing through their emotions and acting with that more than just speaking it. They're good at showing it. And especially Leonardo DiCaprio, because, like, his character doesn't have a lot of dialogue, but he's got enough, like, with his face and just with his emotions and everything, you feel what he's going through. and You feel his will to survive. And that's really what this movie did best and everything. Um, will... Leonardo DiCaprio win an Oscar for it, or does he deserve an Oscar for it? Um, no, to me, like, the last movie he really did deserve an Oscar for was probably The Departed. Um, other than that, like, I haven't seen many of his movies after that. Um, but I'm not sure, like, I'm not wanting to say, but I still think he gave a really good performance in this movie. He didn't say a lot, nobody said a lot, um, but there... It was acted well enough to where it made up for that. It was good. It's like it was like it's nice to see a movie do that every once in a while, where there's not a lot of dialogue. It's the characters that do have a lot of dialogue though are like Tom Hardy and a couple other characters, and you he's interesting too. Like you really do. You see where he's coming from with this. Um, as far as it historically accurate, um, I read up on the real story. It's not. It's kind of more of a fictionalized story. Like it's yes and no, but it's like I said, like. Um, it's a really great movie. I love the way it's shot. I love the way everything is done in the movie. You know, the shots of the landscapes in this movie are beautiful. I mean, it's just so great to look at. You know, all the effects, everything was practical. Everything was there, um, which was really good. It just added to the grittiness of it all that you know that it's all really there. But the one I want to talk about in this movie that it just gave such a great performance. I mean, I really, I hope she wins an Academy Award. I mean, it was just great. And it was a grizzly bear. I mean, the grizzly bear was just amazing. I mean, I this was like Orson Welles, like, up there with that kind of just genius. This is Marlon Brando territory. This is just up there with just some of the greatest actors of all time. I really hope that bear wins an Academy Award for this movie. It deserves it. It really does. That's why I definitely give The Revenant a 2C because it's brutal. So that's it for me. As always, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. And remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching.